that's one of those things that most of us would love to inspire to be obviously like Dwayne Johnson and John Cena. And um, it's just one of those things where it's really cool in WWE to be able to show, you know, other sides of that. What's going on guys. This is Brian Jones from popculture.com and joining me today is two of the top stars in WWE. You've seen them on Monday night, raw Friday night, Smackdown NXT and even tough enough. And they're also the co-creators and founders of the Manny's donuts, Mandy Rose, Sonia Deville, guys, how you doing today? Hello, how are you doing? Hey. Good, good. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. Um, I, I wanted to get into your WWE careers here in a little bit, but first, I obviously want to talk about the Mandy's Donuts. You recently were in New York City for the pop up shop. How did that go for you? Yeah, <laughs> it was super it was awesome. Fun. Yeah, we had a, uh, so we've been doing pop-ups kind of uh, in various cities around the globe. And we decided why not bring it to the Northeast, which is our home territory of New York. And it was an amazing turnout. Like we were blown, we're blown away every single time because it's like, yeah, we know we're cool, but (laughs) we know our donuts are great. (laughs) When you see a a line like that covers two city blocks, it's kind of surreal, you know? Um, So it was a super fun event. Um, We partnered with a local donut company, Peter Pan Donuts, and the donuts were incredible. And yeah, it was it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. And of course, it's such a big city like New York, like Darius said, it's always like, you know, we're we're surprised by the outcome every time. So it was a, it was really awesome. What other cities are you looking to open pop up shops at um, when it comes to the United States? Mm. We want to get down to Florida. Yeah, we have to do Florida. Um, <laughs> we have to. Uh, and then I like love San Francisco. So I feel like a pop-up would do great in San Francisco. I also love San Diego. San Diego. Um, yeah. That'd be really nice too. But yeah, definitely, definitely Florida would be fun. Yeah. That yeah. sounds like that sounds really cool. And uh, I know everyone will be looking forward to that, but for those who don't know about the Mandy's donuts, how did all, how did this all get started for you? Because I've, I, I've followed mm. you, uh, your videos in the past and obviously your Instagram account, but how did this all get started? Go ahead, well, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love we love this story because I don't know it's just it's kind of like silly and kind of really who Daria and I are, um, you know, outside of wrestling and the world of sports entertainment. But anyway, um, we basically were on a late night run to Krispy Kreme. Um, <laughs> it was Dar- Daria, myself, and her dad, and um, we went and you know the light was on. We had to we had to pull in and get some donuts. And we grabbed the hats that they have at Krispy Kreme and we were outside and we created this video basically. And it's really silly. And we have the video of course, um, still, and we were like singing donuts and I don't know, Daria can sing it for you. She does a really good job. (laughs) (laughs) Um, and we basically had this video and we put it out there on social media. Um, and we didn't realize obviously the, the outpour of, um, you know, feedback we got because everyone, it seemed like our fans just really loved the two of us kind of out there being silly and eating donuts. And we train so hard, we work out so much, we're athletes, but Mm -hmm. you know, it's okay to, to cheat here and there and, and have balance. And that's kind of our whole motto and, and what we're all about. We're all about balance because we're both, you know, really big foodies. We're both from the Northeast and come from big Italian families. So we love to eat. (laughs) <laughs> and, um, and that's kind of where it started. And then obviously we created this YouTube channel yeah. and we were just traveling around the world, trying the best glazed donuts. And it was just a really good, um, really good kind of way to show our fans what we do outside of, uh, the WWE ring. Yeah. It was, it was one of those things where it was like, we, we started seeing like, like Mandy said, the outreach from the fans. And we were like, wait, why do they like us eating donuts so much if we do this? <laughs> yeah. We do this weekly, like between pizza, donuts, pasta, like we love food. I mean, 90% of the reason I work out is so that I can eat whatever I want. And that's just how it really, um, (laughs) like, like she said, growing up in big Italian families in the Northeast, like every meal is pasta or raviolis or something, you know, horrible for you. So, um, and then we started to realize like, oh, like that's what makes us like relatable, right? Like that we love food and that we have balance in our lives. And so we really wanted to start showcasing more of that side of us because that is who we are. And so that's when we made the YouTube series, Mandy's Donuts. And then we're like, wait a second, I think we need to make our own donuts because why not? Right. We're trying everybody else's and we're kind of like donut aficionados at this point. (laughs) So that kind of made us the experts to make some donuts of our own. Absolutely. And it's interesting because 
it has led your love for donuts has led to this company that's growing and is going to continue to grow and you're selling out merchandise. And uh, I saw what you've been doing on Instagram recently. So did you think your love for donuts would lead to um, what you guys are doing now? Never yeah. in a million years. I mean, I don't think you ever, uh, you know, it's just, a, it was just a natural like passion of ours and hobbies eating. And you never think that's going to turn into some sort of, you know, company. I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit and so does Mandy. Um, we, we like to uh, create and innovate. And so it kind of just was like a natural organic thing that happened. Um, and now we're in love with it. And now it's a like, really fun company that we get to not only spend time with each other um, and work together on, even though sometimes our schedules don't line up, but we get to come together and talk about donuts. And it's just something that's super fun for us. Yeah. And it's, it's one of those things where the two of us, like we're always together driving, you know, city to city for, uh, wrestling shows. And we just had so much time also on our hands of like, you know, free time in the car. And we would literally the both of us just like talk about like the future and just, you know, we're like she said, we're just both, um, you know, we're both very driven and we both have the same kind of goals and mindset of like, you know, growing this global brand, um, to being something so successful. Yeah. And of course we didn't, you know, vision, all of it, but obviously that's along the way and, you know, try through trial and error and everything else, like every business comes. So it's really awesome. And with you guys being donut experts, and I've seen the the donuts that you've ate on your YouTube videos, is there one or a couple of donuts that you like more than the others? I think that both of us can agree that classic glaze is probably our favorite, but I love a good old fashioned. I love a good sour cream donut. Um, but it's really fun to create our own donuts with every pop-up because then it's like we get to put our own flavors in it and our own ingredients to our taste palettes. So like, you know, the first one I did like this crazy cookie mania donut that had like Oreos and like cookie dough mm. on it. Um, because like, those are two of my favorite things. And Mandy did like a salted caramel. Cause she's obsessed with salted caramel. Um, <laughs> so it's really fun to kind of put our personalities and our flavors in the donuts. Um, but yeah, we're both definitely classic blaze lovers, I think. Yeah, for sure. I'd have to agree. Absolutely. Can't go wrong. No, never can go <laughs> wrong with glaze. That's my favorite as well. But um, uh, switching a little bit, Mandy, I wanted to ask you, the, well, first, uh, Mandy, I want to say congratulations on winning the NXT Women's, Women's Championship. I, I think that's Thank pretty you. amazing. Oh, of course. Yeah. The but, champ is here. Champ is champ here. There. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how has it been for you returning to NXT? Um, I know they've made some changes with NXT 2.0, but how has it been um, competing in NXT this time around? You know, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I can't say I, I had much experience on NXT TV prior to this because I really didn't I think I had a total of like two matches but oh you know the whole process of training and and all that you know Daria and myself were both in NXT for like two years so um it this time around I have to say it's been a lot of fun with a little more experience and kind of just you know along the way helping out some of the girls you know I I found a, a you know a new self for me in a sense and you know kind of revamped my character a little bit and I always think it's really good to find, you know, to, to evolve at some point. And we all kind of need that. So, um, you know, I I've always had confidence, but I think I found even, you know, more confidence in this latest run and, um, it's just been a lot of fun. You know, it, it's, it's always nice to give back and to help out. And there's so many little things that, um, the girls and guys like don't realize while they're in the moment and, you know, Daria can relate the two of us went through it. And like, you kind of don't realize until you're out of it and just to really be in the moment and enjoy the process and like, you know, try not to sweat the small stuff. Cause at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Um, and you know, there's, there's a lot of people telling you what they think they should, you know, what you should be or do. And, and, you know, you know who you are and your character the best. So I just, I try to kind of give that knowledge and experience to, to the girls as much as I can, because that's kind of what matters at the end of the day. And, and I think it will help their process and kind of create a stress-free environment. And, uh, and you know, but it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I can't complain. I, I really, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's interesting to say. Oh. By the way, I just want to yeah. add to that. Yeah, all, I, all I hear backstage and all I hear from people um, over there in NXT is how helpful Mandy is and how humble she is and just how yeah, great it is to have someone down there with, with a different perspective. And it's not better or for worse, but it's just, she has a different perspective because she was on Monday night raw. She was on 
SmackDown. She's been on numerous pay-per-views. Um, so she has that kind of like uh, television experience with Raw and SmackDown that's a little bit different than NXT. So I think it's really cool that you've completely reinvented yourself and completely evolved down there and um, just taken an opportunity and, and made lemons into lemonade. And it's just so cool to see. And I'm just so proud of you. Thanks, friend. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> so, Mandy, so, Mandy, my other question is, uh, when it comes to uh, NXT, who would you like to compete against? Because there's a lot of young talent um, and that are on the rise. So who would you like <laughs> to uh, compete against uh, down the road? There's so many women, um, so many incredible, you know, competitors out there. And, yes, there are a lot of young talent, um, which is kind of cool. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And I think um, some of them, you know, there's a lot to learn, of course, but um, everyone kind of brings something different to the table. So I'd have to say some of the women that I'm looking forward to working with, um, Kaylee Ray, I really want to work with uh, Kaylee Ray. She's, she's not, you know, new in any sense. She's had quite right. the experience, um, obviously out in the UK and, and prior to that, but um, she, uh, she seems like she'd be a fun competitor. And um you know, Io Shirai, she's, she's amazing. I've worked her a little bit. Um, Cora Jade, she's um, definitely a, a rising star in the making. You know, she's very young, but um, I think she uh, will be something big. And um, yeah, there's, there's so many girls and it's just, it, it's fun and it's, it's different and it's new and um, it's always good to kind of switch it up. You know, there's so many amazing women on Raw and SmackDown that I've worked uh, plenty of times. And I think it's kind of cool to, come to a, you know, NXT brand and, uh, you know, kind of reinvent myself. Awesome. And, uh, Sonia, I want to ask you this, uh, uh, with Mandy being in NXT, <laughs> you've been appearing on Raw and SmackDown as kind of a authority figure. All over. All over, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How has that experience been that for you from transitioning from being in the ring and, and now kind of, um, working with Adam Pierce and sometimes with even Vince McMahon? Yeah, that's been really cool. Um, working with Vince lately has probably been my favorite thing in my career thus far. Uh, he's just so knowledgeable and just so respectable to be around and just to be in segments with him. I was like, oh my God, like I don't, I don't have many um, fangirl moments, but I was kind of freaking out and, and he's so cool. And we were in there for, you know, hours working on stuff and he's just he's so helpful and he's always been supportive of my career and what I wanted to do uh so that's been really cool but I love diversifying uh my palette so to speak like I think it's so cool that I was able to kind of kick butt for four years and then transition into something completely different and show the WWE universe that I can kind of do it all and um and if I if I couldn't before now I can because you know, I've put a lot of work and effort into this role and I've, I've grown in this role. Um, it's been like, I think a year now, I think I debuted in this role, like January 1st last year. So it's almost a year. Um, and I'm just having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. Uh, and I feel like I'm growing and learning. I don't feel stagnant. Uh, and I feel like what's to come in the near future is going to be super exciting for the fans that have been following the journey of Sonya Deville. And to follow up on that question, and this may be an obvious question, do you miss uh, competing in the ring on a consistent basis? Um, you know, I, I'm a fighter born and raised. So obviously I love to fight and I love to throw down, but a lot of people also don't know. One of my first passions was, was acting and performing. And, uh, you know, I used to host a show in LA before I got signed. So, so talking and in using my voice is also something that I really get a lot of satisfaction doing and a lot of gratification. So I'm, I'm just enjoying where I am. I'm not eager or in some sort of rush to be anywhere else. Um, I'm, I feel really present in this moment and in this role. Yeah. And that's interesting that you bring that up. And this question is actually for both of you. WWE is all about entertainment and has led to superstars branching out into movie and TV roles. You've seen it with John Cena, you've seen it with Dwayne, the rock Johnson, and even Dave Batista along with others. Do you see yourselves possibly appearing in TV shows and movies down the road? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like I said, I, I think I took my first acting class when I was like 13 years old in, in South Jersey. Um, I've always had a passion for, for theater and drama and acting. And um, it's just something that's really, it's almost, it sounds weird and corny, but it's almost like therapeutic for me to get into a role and just immerse myself in it and just be somebody else. Um, and I love doing 
that with what I do right now, but I would love to further that one day. And I think that a path like Dwayne Johnson and John Cena is admirable to almost anybody in the company. Um, and I'd, I'd love to be one of the females to make that transition so hugely as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I could definitely agree. Obviously, I think that's one of those things that most of us would love to inspire to be obviously like Dwayne Johnson and John Cena. And um, it's just one of those things where it's really cool in WWE to be able to show, you know, other sides of that. And I think to piggyback off what Daria just said about, you know, um, her role that she's in right now, like everyone, when everyone Daria first got signed and we both got first, you know, first got signed, you kind of get not pigeonholed, but like, you're kind of like, Oh, she's the fighter. She's the bikini model. She's the whatever. Like, so I think it's really cool for, you know, Daria to be in this role right now. And I always tell her just because it's like, she's able to show that she can talk great on the mic. She has all these different, you know, um, uh, layers to her character. And she's not just the fighter. It's not like, you know, everyone's like, not forgot that you were the fighter, but like, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, wow. Cause we don't always get those opportunities. So I feel like everything happens for a reason, regardless of all the situations that we, you know, been through, um, and why we're here to, you know, to this day. But I think it's really cool because, um, there, you know, WWE is, is a huge platform and it's awesome to be able to show all those different layers. Of course. And obviously, yeah. And obviously both of you guys have had a lot of success individually in WWE, but I would love to see you guys team back up, team back up again. Uh, is it possible for you guys to bring back fire and desire down the road? (laughs) <laughs> hey you never know <laughs> you know what's so funny i as you we were saying that i just got chills because we i'm i'm so proud of what we did over um it was two summers ago now oh my god yeah it was i, know, last I summer can't summer. even keep track anymore I, literally but I, i'm so proud of what we did with that story i mean and really we were two I, at the time lower mid-card girls that weren't getting you know, long matches on TV or anything like that. And we took a story and we made it into something awesome. And we drew the fans in despite our star power and ranking at the time. And we, we really, I think elevated both our brands in doing so and proved a lot to ourselves and, and to everybody else. And so that's something that I'm really proud of. And we laid some great groundwork there. And then we kind of went our separate ways and life took its course and we got to develop into what we are doing now, which we're obviously both very happy with. So uh, I think that would be a cool full circle moment one day. It definitely never say never to that. Yeah. There's, there's always hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could have <laughs> fire and desire. Well, Absolutely. even if we're never a tag team again, you know, inside the ring, we're always a tag team outside of the ring. So that, that is that true. For sure. Very good. Friend. True. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> awesome. And the last question for me is, um, uh, when it comes to your WWE career, WWE careers, and even in pro wrestling, where do you see yourselves five to ten years down the road? Good question. That's a good question. Um, I I love the WWE. The WWE is home to me, so uh, definitely here. I would love to have a few championships under my belt or a long championship reign. Um, that's definitely something that I aspire to do, and just continue to get different platforms. Uh, within WWE to use my voice and to use the other skills that I have. Um, I, where my character's at right now, I have a lot to say. And so I think in the coming months and years, uh, there's going to be a really cool development of Sonya Deville into, into kind of her next phase. So yeah, definitely here kicking butt and uh, taking some, taking some gold home. I need to, I need to compete with Mandy now. She got the first gold. (laughs) We we, we live together Uh, and mess around and be like, Who's going to get on Raw first? Who's going to yeah. <laughs> first? Who's going to get a uh, championship first? Like we always we talk about it. So it's so it's so cool to see her with the gold around her waist, but it definitely puts a little fire under my butt. So it'll be like, all right, it's my turn now. Yeah, we're mm-hmm. always we're always competing with each other. Always. No always. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but in the best way possible. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, it's I mean, same for me, obviously. Uh, you know, uh I see myself, you know, staying with WWE for, for a while now and kind of just kind of keep building my brand and, um, you know, keep building demandies and everything else that's in the works. And, um, you know, the, the sky's the limit, really. I, I've always been the way my life kind of have always has always been is like, I just I'll take chances like we all, you know, sometimes we just take risks and you just really never know. You know, I was in school studying to be a speech language pathologist in college and never did I think I'd become uh, you know, WBFF bikini world champion or WWE wrestler. And then, um, 
or a champion to say the least. So it's like, you just never know what, you know, comes your way. And I think with, um, you know, hard work, dedication and drive and everything else that we bring to the table, the sky's the limit. So I'm excited for, um, for the future. And we're all excited for you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Manny and Sonia. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, good luck on everything. Congrats on everything and continued success.